again and welcome to another installment of Benadorm Bites from here at my YouTube channel Benadorm and Beyond. This is number 9 in my new series of vlogs and for those of you who haven't yet caught the others, Benadorm Bites aims to show a mixture of footage or clips of your favourite resort on a regular basis. Firstly, before I get started, I would just like to say that I've nearly lost my voice this week as I'm sure you can hear, so I hope you can understand me. Benidorm Bites aims to show a mixture of footage and clips of your favourite resort on a regular basis. These will respond to viewers' requests, show things that I've found interesting or funny, or just provide updates, news and information of events that are happening here in the town. If you've only just found my channel, I produce original, positive and informative videos on a weekly basis about Benidorm where I have lived for many years and the surrounding areas. So if you enjoy this vlog, please consider becoming a subscriber so you'll never miss any new content as I upload it in the future. So let's get started. My first item begins in the Rincon de Loix area and the news that the much-loved Triangle Pub has now reopened its doors again. Part of the long-running Vincent's Corner pubs, it was established back in 1972 and has always been a popular haunt for its great mix of karaoke, good music and fun on the dance floor. Closed for most, if not all, of the pandemic, I believe, following a much-needed clean down and restock, it opened once more on the 7th of April, which, judging by social media comments, was a delight to holidaymakers and locals alike. As you can see, the iconic horse has now gone from the top of the building, but the vibe still remains the same, and it's great to see people giving it much-needed custom and breathing life back into the old place once more. Open from 11 until late, it is especially handy for those staying in the nearby Levante Apart hotels just up the road or the Hotel Port Benidorm just down the road towards the beach. So why not give it a go? My second item takes us to Benidorm's old town with details of a brand new hotel. Situated right in the very deepest heart of this area, along Calle del Marques de Comillas, Previously, there was a small hostel named Hostel Mexanet in the empty space you are seeing right now. And although I had never been in, I remember it quite clearly as I lived in this area many years ago. If you are unfamiliar with the location, the work site is just a few minutes walk from the original Vincent's Corner Bar in the Old Town and also very close to the Hotel Castillo. The council have now given permission for the construction of a two-star hotel on this land. The old hostel has been completely demolished and the construction company have 12 months in which to begin the work. Apart from the complete raising of the previous building to the ground, not much of interest has happened so far. But I will keep watching and filming for you and keep you updated in the future. Our third item is a small series of clips of things I have found amusing recently. Some are simply fun, some are just little mistakes, and some are a bit childish, but so be it. Here we can see a cow outside one of the popular alley hop shops, who during the pandemic has had to wear its face mask just like the rest of us. During the awful weather we have had recently, it had ditched its mask, instead opting for a handy umbrella, which was incidentally for sale inside, to keep itself dry. Next, whilst passing this local beauty shop, of all things, I had to think, why didn't anybody tell the owner of this Spanish business not to call it Fanny? While it is indeed a women's name, it's certainly not a popular one in English anymore, so I bet a few Brits have smiled after passing this sign. Now we come to a pet hate of mine, spelling mistakes. And yes, I know that makes me sad, but in this day and age with Spellcheck and Google Translate ready available, I really don't see the need for them. Firstly, we see this estate agent in Mobileria Real Estate. I hope that isn't a description of their properties or their office, as it certainly doesn't give the right impression. Along the seafront, and whilst browsing the office at Tiki Town, I notice that they are keeping their customers happy with Alchu Pops, or is that Alk Hoop Ops? I'm not really sure, but at two for six euros, I guess at least the price was right. 
Finally, a little further along the promenade at the Manila Bar and Restaurant, we can see their special grill menu for €22.50 Euros per person. Along with their three-course offering, they are also advertising a break, drink, coffee or dessert. At first, I genuinely didn't know what they meant, as I was thinking, of course you get a break if you sit down to eat a three-course menu. But I now realise it should say bread instead. I would be fuming if this sign had been delivered to me and it would have gone straight back to the printers, but that's just me. My fourth item takes us back to the Rincon de Loix and the news that the Buena Vista apartments on Avenida Ciudad Real have been bought by the hotel group BCL. These will be better known to most of you as the owners of the Hotel Levante Club and Spa, as well as several other apart hotels in the Rincon de Loix area that also carry the Levante name. The apartments were originally built in 2001 and had 99 apartments over 15 floors. Whether this will change, or even if they will still be used as apartments, or the rooms renovated and then amalgamated in the main hotel itself, I simply don't know, and can find no further information about this acquisition on the internet. Do any of you know anything at all? My final item this week is an updated look at the old mini golf site on the Avenida del Mediterraneo, which is due to be a spanking new luxury apartment block called Edificio Monver Mediterraneo. Consisting of 19 exclusive homes when finished, each home will, unusually, have the whole floor to themselves, therefore offering the utmost in privacy. Each apartment will offer three bedrooms and two bathrooms with prices starting at €415,000 and going up to over half a million euros for the higher and therefore more prestigious locations. This brings us to the end of this ninth instalment of Benidorm Bites and I really hope that you have enjoyed this latest information vlog with me and have understood me through my gruff throat. If you did enjoy this video, then I'll ask you please give it a thumbs up and like it and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already done so. Also, feel free to drop me a line in the comments section if there is something or somewhere you would particularly like me to include in the future, and as always, I'll see what I can do. For those of you who have only just found my channel Benidorm and Beyond, I enjoy not only videoing the bustling resort of Benidorm, but also the beautiful local area, including the nearby villages and towns, which can mostly all be reached by local transport and make a fantastic day trip. I'll see you out and about next time, and thanks for watching. Cheers!